Whoa! Oh. What are you Teacher, doing? you scared me. What were you doing? Well, I was wondering what God was doing in heaven, mm -hmm. you know, because we're like best friends now. But all I see are clouds and birds, and it doesn't really seem like God is there. Mm. That actually reminds me of my, of my friend Bird. You have a friend Bird? Yeah, Trusty the Parrot. Whoa! Hi, Trusty! He's super trustworthy, and I know I can always trust him to support me. Whoa, very cool. Yeah, whenever I'm feeling sad or lonely and I call out to him, he always comes and is there for me. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, but the most important message that we need to learn from this is that God is our most trustworthy friend. Hmm, God is our most trustworthy friend. Mm -hmm. So I guess that means that even though we know that God never changes, mm -hmm. that God is almighty, mm -hmm. that God is a great ruler and king, mm -hmm. and that God is Emmanuel and we can have a relationship with him, if we don't trust him, then it doesn't really matter? Yeah, it can't really work without trust, just like any relationship. I see. So I guess the most important thing is that we should always trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even if we can't mm. see him or feel him, we just have to trust and know that he is always with us. God is always with us. Mm -hmm. Even if I can't see him, he is always with us. Of course. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Are you ready to learn more about God? I sure am. All right. Do you have your three things? I sure do. Where's your Bible? Pew! Your VBS shirt. Pew! Your kit. Pew! All right. So let's pray. All right. All right. Dear God, thank you so much for this wonderful experience for us to have VBS at Mystery Island. And I pray that today for day five, our very, very last day, I pray that you will help us to really learn about you and really have so much fun that we never forget this experience. In Jesus' name, I pray. Day to day, forevermore, forevermore. Oh, the glory and the wonder of your majesty. I will tell the world of your great love for me. Makes me want to sing.
great I am. He's a rock of all ages. He's a sacrifice lamb. He's the creator, the prince of peace. He's the good shepherd and he's king of kings. I worship the Father and praise to the Son, the Holy Spirit, the three in one. I am his soldier, a slave to the cross. I'll tell the world that Christ saves the lost. He's a lion of Judah. He's the great I am. He's a rock of all ages. He's a sacrifice lamb. He's the creator, the prince of peace. He's the good shepherd and he's king of kings. That we're living in His name's above all names And all power is His I'll shout to the world That my Savior lives He's a lion of Judah He's the great I am He's a rock of all ages He's a sacrifice lamb He's the creator the Prince of Peace. He's the Good Shepherd and he's King of Kings. He's a Lion of Judah. He's the Great I Am. He's a Rock of all ages. He's a Sacrifice Lamb. He's the Creator. The Prince of Peace. He's the Good Shepherd and he's Sacrifice land. He's the creator, the prince of peace. He's the good shepherd and he's king of kings. He is my savior and he is king of kings. to stop guys i can't go any farther it's starting to hurt worse isn't it yes i can't put any weight on my ankle now i'm afraid it's broken let me see oh it's starting to swell really bad too chloe i know you are hurt and scared but we have to keep moving i don't think i can go on sam we need to get back to camp before night falls. We do not want to be out in this part of the island after dark. What? Why? Why is this part of this island not the place to be after dark? Let's just say there are things out here that are not afraid of you. Oh, how far away is camp? It's an hour away. But with your ankle, it's going to take us three to four hours. I can't believe I stepped on one slippery rock. You went one way, your ankle twisted the other. Is there anything we can do to help keep me from moving it as I limped back? You're a genius, Chloe. Kate, find me a branch I can use. This should help. How is this supposed to help? Won't it make the swelling worse? Trust me, Chloe. I will get you back to camp. You just need to trust me. There, try putting a little weight on it. 
you guys should just go on. Leave me. I'll be okay. You need to get back to camp before dark. No, we'll, we we won't leave you, Chloe. We will never leave you here by yourself. You can trust us. Never going to leave me? That sounds like a promise from God. Yeah? Well, God promises us in His Word that He will never leave us. He's never going to change either. And because He is good and perfect, we can trust Him with our lives. Kind of like I'm trusting you all with my life right now. Although, no offense, is much more trustworthy than any person could be. How can you trust God with your life? It's like when David fought the giant Goliath. Yeah, David knew he was outmatched. Goliath was huge. But David also knew that he was fighting on the Lord's side. He trusted God to deliver him from Goliath. He was a young boy going into battle with a giant soldier. Well, did God help David to win? Oh yeah, God won the battle. But David knew to trust God. Because God loves us and is good and perfect and will never leave us. We can trust God with our lives too. Like when He places really good friends in your life who promises to take care of you? When you try to jump around on slippery rocks in the jungle, possibly breaking your ankle? Yeah, like trusting God. Like trusting that God loves me and cares for me and gives me great friends that won't leave me by myself in the jungle. Yeah, we can do this! Yeah, thank you guys! Yeah! Hello everyone! I've been exploring this mystery island. It was great and amazing. Well, some of you guys know me and some of you are not. So I just want to introduce myself. My name is David and Pastor David and I am so happy to be with you guys. And I am so excited to share God's word today with you guys. All right, so we have been talking about God's characteristic for four days. Day one, we talked about God is greater than any gods. Day two, we talked about God is almighty. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Yes. And day three, the shark, and he was the king of the sea. But God is the ruler of all. Day four, we talked about God is Emmanuel. He is with us all the time. Whoever believes in Jesus Christ, as their personal Savior, He dwells in us, He's with us all the time. Amen. Now, if you believe in Jesus Christ, how are we going to live? Today, we're going to focus on God's characteristic. God is trustworthy. Everyone, please follow and repeat after me. God is trustworthy. All right, good job. And I have a question for you guys. What is your favorite Bible story? We have so many stories in the Bible. The Moore's Ark, and Joseph's story, and Daniel and Lion, and Peter, and John, and Jonah. So many stories. What about you guys? Hmm. My favorite Bible story is David and Goliath. Do you know that story? So today we're going to talk about the story of David and Goliath. So let's jump into the Bible. Today's story comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verses 1 to 51. Let me explain that the battlefield. The Valley of Elah was a place that David and Goliath, they fought. That's so famous place. So I've been there in Israel. I took a picture. Look at this picture. See, here's the Valley of Elah. There was a big two mountains right here. And this is right here. Between the mountain, there was two sides. This side, Israelites, the other side for the Philistine. The country of Philistine, the nation of Philistine, 
they were strong and they were good at battle. They have so many experience. So you, you know, the Philistine used to give hard time to Israelites. And also the people in Philistine, they are descendant. They are the descendant of giant. They are strong. They are powerful. They are really good at battle. So now Israelites, oh, Saul just became a king. They don't have any, you know, bad experience. God protect them and guide them so they don't have to fight. But now they have to fight. But here's the problem. On the other side, in Philistines camp, there was a man came up named Goliath. He was big and strong and tall. You know how tall he is? He's about nine feet tall. He's about, you know, taller than this, you know, this big. And if we add his all, you know, bronze helmet and armors and grave and javelin like this, and it's going to be about 180 pounds. Everything. Boom, 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 boom. And also, iron points of his spear was 17 pounds. That the spear, point of the spear, that's strong. That big man came out to Israelites and saying, if you have the Bible, let's look at verse 8. Why do you come out and line up for battle? Am I not a Philistine? And are you not the servant of Saul? Choose a man and have him come down to me. If he is able to fight and kill me, then we will become your subject. And But if I have overcome him and kill him, you will become our subject and service. Wow. Can you imagine that big, strong man? He came out and shouting. Time passed by. His shouting was getting worse. He was blaspheming, insulting God. How many days? For 40 days. Look at the Bible, verse 16. For 40 days, the Philistine came forward every morning and evening and took Stand. Oh my goodness. For 40 days, every morning and evening, he came out and shouted, What is your God? Come on, fight with me. Is your God dead? And then, with that Goliath shouting, the people, the soul, and all the Israelites, they were scared to death. Look at verse 11. On hearing the Philistines' words, Saul and all the Israelites were dismayed and greatly terrified. Wow! Just one big man, he was shouting, and the people that King Saul, he was hiding in the tent, and all the Israelites, they were dismayed and terrified. They couldn't do anything. No one wants to come up and fight with the Goliath. They were scared. But at that time, there was a man came out, David. Let me teach you a little Hebrew. Na'al David. <laughs> Can you say it? Na'al is Hebrew. David is Hebrew. Na'al David is David. He's about 16 or 17 years old. He's, you know, not old man. He's a little boy. Not the little boy. Anyway, he's kind of teenager. He came out. When he came up to battlefield, Goliath was there, but he knew that what Goliath was saying was not true. Remember this, David knows what is true. When Goliath was saying, what is your God? Does anybody want to come and fight with me? Is your God dead? Are you scared with me? Then David, no, this is not true. My God is not afraid of your blade. My God is stronger than you. This battle is not up to you. It's up to God. God is in control. He knows God is in control. He knows what is the truth. God is greater than you. God is ruler of all. That he is a great God. He is trustworthy. That he trusts God. David knows God is the great, God is the ruler, God is the creator. He knows that. Then, not only knowing his head knowledge, he trusts God. He knew that he is trustworthy. Amen. 
Finally, David took his some stones and threw it out. Then Goliath died. He killed Goliath and bring up his head and show my God is alive. My God is not dead. He's not afraid of the Philistines saying, my God is greater than any gods. My God is the ruler. He's a great. He's in control. He's Emmanuel with me all the time. I want to trust God. He is trustworthy. Amen. JCJC, today's our last day for our VBS. Please remember all this God's characteristic, His attribute. God is great. God is ruler. God is trustworthy. He is amazing God. Not only knowing in our head knowledge, we have to trust God that He is with us all the time. He is greater than anything. He is with us, Emmanuel God. Please, please don't forget, not knowing your head knowledge, please live out. Let's trust God. If you go out, if we finish this VBS for five days, then you will go back to your home and school and everything. But you will face real world. The Goliath is not only in the Bible, he came out to us and shouting, Hey, you can do it. You're still sinning, you're disobeying. What are you doing? He will accuse you. He tried to conquer your life and your mind, your emotion and everything. But God is greater than anything. He is a ruler. He is Emmanuel God. We can trust God. Why? God is trustworthy. Amen. Our Bible memory verse is Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. Let's read it together. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make straight your path. Amen. Amen. I want to wrap up today's message. Please remember that who God is and I want to trust Him. He is trustworthy. Just like David trusted in God, that we need to trust God. Amen. Let's live out. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your love and grace that you've given to us. That you've given us great opportunity to learn about you, who you are. Now we know who you are, that we want to live out. We want to live with you because you are Emmanuel God. You are with us all the time. Even though all the circumstances and difficulties comes up, we want to overcome with you, Father. Please help us to remember that you are with us. You are the greater than any gods. You are the ruler of all. That we want to trust you. We want to put our faith in you, Father. Father, thank you again that you've given us great opportunity to know you more and deeper and more. We love you, Father, because you loved us first. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 친구들 안녕하세요. 와 오늘 벌써 BBS 마지막 날이 되었어요. 오늘 친구들에게 새로운 친구 한 명을 소개할게요. 짜잔. 안녕 친구들. 나는 앵무새야. 어? 반가워. 근데 너 보니까 선장 옆에 꽉 붙어 있더라. 넌 어떻게 그렇게 선장 옆에 잘 붙어 있을 수 있니? 음, 우리 선장님은 날 항상 지켜주셔. 난그 사실을 믿거든. 그래서 선장님 옆에 있는 거야. 와, 그렇구나. 앵무새 너는 정말 선장님을 믿고 따르는구나. 우리 친구들은 누구를 믿고 누구를 따르고 있나요? 오늘 우리가 믿고 의지할 수 있는 분을 친구들에게 전해줄게요. 오늘 말씀 주제는 하나님은 우리가 믿고 따를 수 있는 분이라는 거예요. 우리 친구들 4일 동안 하나님이 어떤 분이신가 배웠어요. 하나님은 위대하시고 모든 걸 하실 수 있는 전능하신 분이세요. 그리고 우리를 다스리시고 우리와 함께 하세요. 이제 우리는 그런 하나님을 믿고 따르기만 하면 돼요. 성경에는 하나님을 믿고 의지한 많은 믿음의 사람들이 있어요. 
그 중에서 오늘은 다이세 이야기를 나눌게요. 오늘 성경 말씀은 사무엘상 17장 45절 말씀이에요. 다이시 블레셋 사람에게 이르되 너는 칼과 창과 단창으로 내게 나아오거니와 나는 망군의 여호와 이름 곧 내가 모욕하는 이스라엘 군대의 하나님의 이름으로 내게 나아가노라. 아멘. 와 저기 보세요 저기 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 이스라엘에 전쟁이 났어요. 블레셋이 쳐들어온 거예요. 오 그런데 저기 저기 우와 엄청난 큰 거인 골리앗이 서 있어요. 키도 크고 엄청 큰 칼과 창을 들고 이스라엘 군사들에게 소리치고 있어요. 이야 거기 이스라엘아 나와 한번 싸워보자. 어 그런데 너무 무서워 아무도 싸우려 하지 않았어요. 어 여기는 누구죠? 한 소년이 있어요. 누굴까요? 다윗이에요. 다윗은 아빠의 심부름으로 블레셋과 싸우고 있는 형들을 만나기 위해 전쟁터로 가고 있어요. 드디어 형들을 만났어요. 그런데 어디선가 큰 소리가 들려요. 거기 이스라엘아 너희 하나님은 주무시느냐? 나와 함께 싸워보자. 다윗은 하나님을 욕하는 소리에 화가 났어요. 그래서 사우랑에게 갔어요. 제가 골리앗과 싸우겠습니다. 사우랑은 예, 넌 너무 어려. 저큰 골리앗과 싸울 수 없단다. 그때 다윗은 사우랑에게 말했어요. 저는 하나님이 지켜주실 것을 믿어요. 제가 양떼를 돌볼 때 와, 무서운 사자가 나타나 양들을 해치려 할 때도 볼멩이로 사자를 맞춰 양들을 구할 수 있었어요. 하나님이 저를 지켜주셔서 양들을 구할 수 있었던 거예요. 그 하나님께서 골리앗의 손에서도 저를 지켜주시고 이스라엘을 구해주실 줄 믿어요. 다윗의 믿음을 본 사우랑은 다윗에게 갑옷과 칼을 주었어요. 어, 하지만 다윗의 게임 너무 커서 걸을 수가 없었어요. 그래서 다윗은 평소의 모습으로 돌멩이 하나를 들고 골리앗에게 갔어요. 그걸 본 골리앗은 어땠을까요? 와 어이가 없었어요. 야이 꼬맹이야 너 지금 나랑 싸우겠다 나온 것이냐? 너희 이스라엘선 나랑 싸울 사람이 너밖에 없니? 으하하하하하 그때 다윗은 믿음으로 소리쳤어요. 골리앗 너는 칼과 창으로 내게 나오지만 나는 망군의 여호와 하나님의 이름으로 너와 싸울 것이다. 그리고 다윗은 윙윙윙 물맷돌을 돌려서 휘 골리앗에게 던졌어요. 친구들 어떻게 되었을까요? 돌멩이는 날아가서 골리앗의 이마를 정확하게 맞췄어요. 그리고 골리앗은 쓰러져 죽고 말았어요. 그렇게 하나님께서 다윗과 함께 하셔서 다윗을 지켜주신 거예요. 어떻게 다윗은 어린 소년인데 큰 거위인 골리앗을 돌멩이 하나로 쓰러뜨릴 수 있었을까요? 다윗은 자신이 하나님의 백성이고 그래서 하나님이 반드시 지켜주실 것을 알고 있었어요. 사무엘상 12장 22절에 이렇게 쓰여 있어요. 여호와께서는 너희를 자기 백성으로 삼으신 것을 기뻐하셨으므로 여호와께서는 그의 크신 이름을 위해서라도 자기 백성을 버리지 아니할 것이요 아멘 하나님께서는 하나님의 자녀된 우리를 버리지 않으신대요. 다윗은 그것을 알고 있었기에 하나님이 지켜주심을 믿고 골리앗 앞으로 나아간 거예요. 우리 친구들은 누구의 자녀이죠? 네, 바로 하나님 자녀예요. 하나님께서는 자녀된 우리를 결코 버리지 않으세요. 이제 우리는 위대하시고 모든 걸 하실 수 있는 천년하신 하나님 그리고 우리를 다스리시고 우리와 함께 하시는 하나님을 믿고 따르기만 하면 돼요. 다윗이 하나님이 지켜주신다는 믿음으로 큰 거인 골리앗을 쓰러뜨린 것처럼 우리 친구들도 그런 믿음으로 우리 앞에 골리앗 같은 큰 시험도 이겨낼 수 있는 멋진 믿음의 친구들 되어요. 친구들 우리 같이 기도해요. 하나님 VBS를 통해서 하나님을 만나게 해주신 감사합니다. 위대하신 하나님, 전능하신 하나님, 그리고 
우리를 다스리시고 우리와 함께 하시는 그 하나님을 믿고 따르는 믿음의 자녀들 되게 해주세요. 예수님의 이름으로 기도했습니다. 아멘Did everyone have fun making their cross today? We made this cross today to use it as a reminder to uh, remind us that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Um, I hope everybody had fun and see you next time. Bye! Bye.
어, 어, 하지만 나는 점프를 잘 못하는 걸. 앵무새야, 너가 먼저 뛰어보겠니? 네, 제가 먼저 뛰어볼게요. 파이팅! 파이팅! 우와, 앵무새야! 잘했어! 어, 힘들어. 나도 갈게! 조심하세요! 어떻게, 어떻게, 우와! 성공이다! 다음으로 가요, 우리. 다음으로 가자! 어. 앵무새야 힘들지? 네 너무 힘들어요 여러분 여러분도 잘 따라오고 있나요? 자 다음으로 갑시다 어 여기는 여기는 가시가 너무 많아 발이 아플 것 같아요 어떡해요? 어, 우리 가시를 잘 피해가 보자 네 선생님 먼저 가세요 알았어 어, 어, 어. 아 따가워 아 조심하세요 어. 진짜요? 어 여기 문이 보이지? 네이문 보여요 이 문만 지나가면은 우리를 보물이 기다리고 있는 거야 헉, 진짜요? 근데 문은 어. 어떻게 열어요? 어, 어떻게 열면 되지? 아 우리 예수님한테 도와달라고 해보자 헉, 네 좋은 생각이에요 자 그러면 하나 둘셋 하면 예수님 도와주세요 하고 같이 외치는 거야 네 여러, 어린이 여러분 여러분도 함께 외쳐봐요 하나 둘셋 예수님 도와주세요 우와! 자, 이무새야 가자. 네. 웰컴 투 미스터리 아일랜드 스낵 스테이션. Today, the snack that we are going to make is a hidden treasure chest. Many people like to hide valuable things in a treasure chest. So we are going to make a snack that represents a hidden treasure. So first, gather all your ingredients together. Um, we are going to pour some of the cookies into the Ziploc bag. 이렇게 열어서 과자를 넣고 Make sure not to put too much because it is going to be hard for the next step. Okay, then make sure you tightly close the Ziploc bag. Then we are going to smash the cookies until they are coarse. You can use your hands or you can use a tool that you have at home. Then we are going to open the pudding and take out half of it into an empty cup. Next, we are going to pour some of the cookie crumbles onto the top of the pudding. This represents the sand. Okay. Now we are going to unwrap the Hershey chocolate and put it into the sand. This represents the treasure box. Lastly, we are going to scatter some M&Ms around the treasure box as if they are jewels. And now we have made our snack. Now you can try to look for the treasure chest as you eat your snack. 내가 좋아하는 보물 초콜릿을 찾아서 먹어야지. 
음, 어디 있지? 나왔다. 초콜릿. 이제 먹어야지. Before we enjoy this delicious treat, can anyone guess what the greatest treasure is? 음, 초콜릿보다 더 좋은 게이 세상에 더 있을까? 음, 뭐지? 아, 하나님. Yes, it's God. He is worth more than all the treasure on the earth. Let's read Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 together. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Today, we learned that God is trustworthy. As long as we trust in God and God alone, he will always watch over us and guide us in the right direction. We hope you enjoy your delicious snack as you continue your treasure hunt. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, did you have fun through virtual VBS? Today's animal was a parrot, and the parrot is a friend of Captain. However, God is our eternal and very close friend. We've learned about God is great, God is almighty, God is a ruler, God is Emmanuel, and God is trustworthy today on Mystery Island. God is a reliable and a good friend who makes and rules this world. He is always with us to be our good friend. I hope we'll be children who believe in, rely on, follow God. 자, 오늘 여기 계신 부모님이 함께 계시다면 어, 우리 어린이들을 위해서 같이 좀 기도해 주셨으면 좋겠습니다. VBS 동안 우리 부모님들도 너무 수고 많으셨습니다. 자녀들과 함께 찬양하시고 말씀 들으시고 또 우리 자녀들과 함께 크래프트도 함께 만드시느라 너무 힘드셨죠. 지난 5일 동안 우리 자녀들과 함께 BBS를 하시면서 이번 BBS는 우리 자녀뿐만 아니라 우리 부모님들의 BBS도 되지 않았을까 하는 생각이 듭니다. 부모님들께서도 미스테리한 하나님을 알아가는 귀한 BBS였기를 바랍니다. 그래서 우리 아이들이 하나님이 어떤 분이신지 정말 알아갈 수 있도록 같이 기도해 주셨으면 좋겠습니다. 미스테리 아일랜드를 통해서 배운 하나님이 이번 BBS 때에만 만나는 하나님이 아니라 우리 자녀들의 삶을 통해 만나게 되는 하나님이 되길 바랍니다. 그래서 우리 아이들이 키가 자라고 성장함에 따라 사람들에게 칭찬받을 뿐만 아니라 하나님께 칭찬듣는 우리 어린이들이 될수 있기를 예수님의 이름으로 축복합니다. 함께 기도하겠습니다. Let's pray. 하나님 감사합니다. 지난 5일 동안 VBS를 통해 하나님을 알아갔습니다. 정말 위대하신 하나님, 전능하신 하나님, 그리고 우리를 다스리시는 하나님, 뿐만 아니라 우리와 함께 하시는 하나님 그리고 정말 우리의 좋은 친구가 되어주셔서 우리의, 우리가 의우리 신뢰할 수 있고 우리가 정말 하나님을 믿고 따를 수 있는 그 하나님을 우리가 배웠습니다. 하나님, 우리 자녀들의 삶이 성장, 우리 자녀들의 성장함에 따라 그 하나님을 믿고 의지하고 따라갈 수 있도록 도와주시옵소서. 하나님과 동행하는 삶 살아가게 하여 주시옵소서. 그러한 우리 어린이들 자녀들이 되어지길 소원하며 살아계신 예수님 이름으로 기도합니다. 아멘. to discover so much for us to see God's truth never failing all the way through history Mystery Island Hoo-ha. Mystery Island Hoo-ha. There's a place you gotta see a land of discovery It's Mystery Island Mystery Island Searching for the ancient truth Handed down to me and you Mystery Island
There's a place you gotta see Other than discovery It's Mystery Island Mystery Island Searching for the ancient truth Handed down to me and you Mystery Island Come on! Won't you come along with me? how it works a mystery island the path is narrow so stay on track but the treasure is yours if you follow the map god is faithful god is strong i can sing of his love all the day long god is powerful holy and true i'm ready for mystery how about there's you there's a place you gotta see a land of discovery it's mystery island it's mystery island mystery island searching for the ancient truth hand it down to me and you 